All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 6. Now, the last episode, we have a mission now. We have a mission we got to do. So, John, Sir Devil's, well, no, Sir Devil's is staying behind because he's a liability. And then Tormund, and then Jorah, and then, and then the Brotherhood of Banners and Gendry. We're going past the wall. We The episode ended with us going past the wall because what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go find one of the whites and we're going to bring it to Cersei to show her what's really good. You know, be like, yo, we got to we got to pause this war we're going on because we got to defeat these fuckers. They're coming. So we're, we're giving it to her as like proof. Right. And also, I'm sure John wants to do it. So also Daenerys can see it for herself, too, because, you know, Daenerys is still doubting all this just a little bit. I think she be she definitely believes it more. But like once Daenerys sees it, too, then I, she'll be all in on it. And then hopefully Cersei will, too, because Daenerys is also worried that if they stop this war with Cersei and then they go and fight the Night King, then that's a perfect opportunity for Cersei to come in and just take over. So valid, valid. But OK, I was kind of thinking about it and this doesn't really feel like something the show would do i'm being honest like do you know what i mean this feels like really off for game of thrones like you guys in the comments said like yeah season seven and eight you know a little, a little downhill from there and like i think this is like the first thing that's kind of oh the fast travel first of all like i don't mind the fast travel if i'm being honest it, it's throwing me off a bit just because i'm not used to it but it's not bad in my opinion but definitely makes the show a way faster pace which just haven't been used to that but like with this going to get one of the whites going to get one of them to bring the cersei i, I don't know i just it feels like super off i think this is the beginning of the downfall if i'm being honest like if the show really does get bad i think this is kind of the beginning of it but then again like i don't think the execution will be bad i don't think the acting will be bad i just think maybe like the storyline is just a little bit off you know what I mean? It just doesn't feel like something that would happen. You know? So I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh, what the fuck is on my mic? Jesus Christ. That is embarrassing. I don't know. And I, I also think some of them are going to die on this mission. Like, I, I can see Thoros possibly dying. I could see Eric dying. I could see... I could see... Oh, I think Gendry's going to die, bro. Dude, he wants to fight so bad. He... I think he's gonna die. Like, okay, obviously, like, John's not gonna die on this. I hope Jorah doesn't, because that motherfucker just got cured. I'll be so pissed. And then, I don't know exactly who's gonna die, but I think it's most likely it's gonna be Gendry or someone from the Brotherhood of Banners. So, but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Bro, I don't know how they think this is going to be a good idea. Like, we're, we're going to march all the way to this fat-ass army and then, what, just snag one of them? No. We're not going to find one of them outside of that army. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dog. This just feels like... This just feels off from, like, what the rest of the show has done. You got to keep moving. That's the, walking's good. Fighting's better. Fucking's best. <laughs> within 100 miles of here we have to make do with what we've got oh <laughs> i love him the king beyond the wall never bent the knee how many of his people died for his pride mm -hmm. you sold me to a witch <laughs> it cost money i wanted to be one of you i wanted to join the brotherhood but you sold me off like I had to do what we had to do do you know what she did to me she well, struck yeah. me down on the bed. Put leeches all over him. Sounds all right so far. <laughs> but they would have killed me if it wasn't but for them. But they didn't, did they? My God. Whinging about. <laughs> and you're complaining about something. That's whinging. Killed six times. You don't hear him bitching about it. Because <laughs> he can come back, dog. He's not worried about it. Bro, the hound is like an uncle, dog. Who's just hardcore as fuck. It's like... You break your leg or something. He's like, well, did you die or whatever? And you're like, no. And he's like, okay, walk it off. You know? It's him at the end. The prisoner of the wildlings. But we avenged him. Mm-hmm. I want you to know that every mutineer found justice. We did. Ran through Carl. I to protect every one of those men. But they butchered him. Yeah. I hate that he died that way. 
Me too. Father was the most honorable man I ever met. Facts. Died on the executioner's block. Mm hmm. That's what honor will do. But it's still Longclaw. Oh, he's giving the Jorah? But you are back. It's been in your family for centuries. It's not right for me to have it. Bro, it's so honorable, John, but no, you, you, it's yours now. He gave it to you. Yeah, exactly. George is going to give it right back. George is just as honorable. He's giving it back. <laughs> I broke my father's heart. I forfeited the right to claim this soul. It's yours. See? It serve you well. And your children after you. Yeah. See, that's why we love Jorah. We love John for giving it up, but then we love Jorah for giving it back. That's what happens when you have really two modest men. They're so modest that they're stubborn, actually. I was doing what I was meant to be doing, and he knew it. Now he's dead. <laughs> why you gotta remind us? By the Lannisters. With your help. Oh my god. Why'd you have to add, a, add that in there, dog? Dude. Yeah, because of the no. Your pretty handwriting. Remember. Father has been charged with treason. He conspired with Robert's brothers against my beloved Joffrey. Mm. And prevent any strife between the great houses of Lannister and Stark. They forced me to do it. Did they? The only way to save Father. And you were stupid enough to believe them. God. I remember you standing in the Bro, stop. You were there. I was there. Fight off the Lannisters and save Father. I wanted to. But you didn't. Just like me. I didn't. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Our entire family for my beloved Joffrey. It wasn't like that, though. We're standing in Winterfell again because of me. Yeah. He didn't win it back. He lost the Battle of the Bastards. The Vale won the battle and they rode north for me while you were off where? Traveling. Although that is true. Don't let that get to your head. Who did you show it to? Where did you find it? You're scared, aren't you? What are you scared of? Do you know how happy Cersei would be right now if she saw us fighting? Yeah. This is exactly what she wants. Listen That's what Peter wants. I'm scared the Northern Lords will read it. Much of Lady Sansa if they knew how she did Cersei's bidding. Are you going to say, but I was just a child? Oh my god. Sometimes fear makes them do unfortunate things. Yeah, Sansa was scared. This is exactly what Baelish wanted. God damn it. Okay. Arya. She fell for it. Baelish got her. He knew that he couldn't get John in any way, so he had to get the sisters. He's probably already five steps ahead of this right here. <sighs> I don't give two shits about wildlings. Gingers, I hate. Gingers <laughs> are beautiful. Yeah, Ygritte was gorgeous. Just like oh you. Don't <laughs> point your fucking finger at me. Oh, <laughs> uh, Torrance is gonna fuck with him. Did you trip into the fire when you were a baby? He's gonna tease him and antagonize him, just push him. Will you fuck off? <laughs> it's pussy for me. I have a beauty waiting for me back in winter. Bro, she does not want to, dog. <laughs> dog, I don't know if Brian wants to, dog. Nah, he'll raise her. He's as tall as you. Oh, wait. <gasps> we get it. You know her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian will fucking talk. <laughs> Do you know her? Yeah, she killed. Yeah, she waxed me. You don't look much like him. Who's that? Your father. Mm. Yeah, well, maybe... Who's your favorite, your mother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't know. They don't know, so... We both serve the same lord. I serve the north. The north didn't raise you from the dead. The lord... I don't know anything about him. I don't know what he wants from me. He wants you alive. Why? So you're the key. The chosen one. You weren't ready to die. So what's the point in serving a god? None of us knows what he wants. I think about that all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm not fighting so some man or woman I barely know can sit on a throne made of soul. Fighting for the sake of the world. Fighting for life. Yeah. That's what I saw on the fire. Nope. Oh. All right, we're close. King's Landing. I don't want you to be a hero. Heroes do stupid things and they die. Yes. They all fell in love with you. Bro, John's not in love with her. Oh, my mistake. I suppose he stares at you longingly because he's hopeful for a successful military alliance. Hmm. I mean, it's natural for the Targaryens to gaze, to gaze at each other, so... ...inspire a degree of fear, but fear is all Cersei has. It makes their power brittle, because mm -hmm. everyone beneath them longs to see them dead. The Targaryen got quite a long way on fear. He did. Mm -hmm. But you once spoke to me of breaking the wheel. 
So we walk into the lion's den. My brother promised me he'd keep a grip on the Lannister forces. Mm. Care about any Lannister promises. Can I, can I trust Jamie on that? And I promised him I'd keep you from doing anything impulsive. Yes. Impulsive. Like killing Sam, killing Sam's dad and brother, so she doesn't kill Jamie. That. Yep. That was necessary. One could be forgiven for thinking you're taking your family's side in this debate. I am taking Oh. You need to take your enemy's side if you're going to see things the way they do. If you're going to anticipate their actions, respond effectively, and beat them. After you break the wheel, how do we make sure it stays broken? Mm -hmm. You want to know who sits on the iron throne after I'm dead? You say you can't have children. I want sustained success. A successor. Your Grace, I saw hundreds of arrows fly towards you when you fought on the Black, but any one of them could have found your heart. Is this one of the items you discussed with your brother in King's Landing? I'm trying to serve you by planning for the long term. Perhaps if you mm. planned for the short term, we wouldn't have lost Dawn and Highgarden. Tough. Discuss the succession after I wear the crown. Oh my god, dude, this is just like House of the Dragon. I mean, yeah, who would she name as heir to the throne then? Like, I don't know. If she can't have a kid, fuck it, mate. Well, they don't know this yet, and I'm not supposed to know this yet. But since John's a Tar Targaryen, let John go and marry whoever he wants, and then and then just make his kid the heir to the throne, because he is a Targaryen after all. I don't know if Daenerys would be down for that, but that's my first idea. What the fuck is that? Is that a fucking bear? Bear. Oh, it's probably like a. A dead walking bear. Oh, <gasps> yep. I see those eyes. I see those eyes. Bears have blue eyes. No, not. Oh, pff, oh shit. Dude, we're waxing this bear. I don't even give a shit. We're waxing it. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, who does he have? I can't see who he's have. Oh. Oh my god, this is a big ass bear, dude. Oh yes, yes, fire! <gasps> oh. Oh yeah, the hound's got this. Oh, it's on fire though. No, the hound. Oh, he's out. Oh. Thoros. No. Oh no 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 no. Thoros about to die. No no no. Uh, the hound can't even do anything. He's too, uh... Oh, Jora! Okay, we fucking did it. That was a lot harder than... I thought it was gonna be. No, it's Thoros really... Oh, no, dude. Oh, that looks bad. That's right. Oh. Yeah, he's fine, bro. Just give him... Just give him a health pack, he's chilling. Alright. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Baelish. He's gonna make another move right here. Their backs on John when it was time to retake Winterfell. Then they named him their king, mm -hmm. and now they're ready to turn their backs on him again. They found out that I wrote that letter. We're dead. We're done. You may have disagreements, but you would never betray a family. Bro, I feel like Arya would. You thought I was going to betray John. Yeah, in that case know her anymore yeah she's a lot better than man could help <gasps> Dude, who the fuck is this in any way wouldn't she be on a bound to intercede hmm <laughs> oh my fucking god dude i thought you were the bravest man i ever saw just the drunkest <laughs> oh no I hear that. <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker is gonna know we're right here. He- I swear to god, he literally knows everything. He's literally just gonna turn at the like, you know? The rest of them. Probably oh, no. long enough we'll find out. Uh, bro, he literally just has a fucking icicle as a weapon. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <gasps> oh no, oh, oh, oh! Ambush! Oh, we're waxing. John's waxing him. John's waxing him. Okay. Oh. Gendry's put in work. No, 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 Jor! 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 Oh! The wax. Oh. Wait. 
He killed them, and then they all just died. Okay. Okay. Good, great, we got our single one right here. Perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, see, the rest of the army is going to pull up. Run back to Eastwood. Get a raven to Daenerys. Tell her what's happened. I'm not leaving you. You're the fastest. Go! Uh, oh, no. Without the hammer. Give it. Give it. Bro, now he's not going to have a weapon, but... All right. Oh, mother. Mm, it's a frozen lake. Bro, what do we... What could we possibly do? Yeah, we just gotta sprint. Watch, we've already cracked it, so when they start running on it, it's just gonna break and they're gonna fall. Oh, they're running around it. No, get up! Bro, what could we possibly do right here? We need a... The only thing, like... I mean, like, we killed the other one, then the rest died. Oh, this one's fucking dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Um, oh no. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I imagine this lake isn't gonna stop them. Like, I imagine they can just swim because they're already dead. You know, it's not like they're gonna die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, the only thing I can think of is we kill the main one, so then the rest just die. It, so I was right. It is like a hive mind then, because that's literally the only way we're gonna beat them. That's it. We take out the four horsemen of them, and then the rest just die. Something like that. Wait. Thinking about it, John's waxed two of them now. So there's only two left, right? Oh, oh damn, this fuck is already back? Holy shit. Oh, they're just gonna wait them out. Shit. So, well, we're just gonna sit here until we send a raven, get Daenerys, and then she pulls up with her dragons. Like, is that, is that what we're about to do? Get up. Oh my god, get up. Get up. It's probably exhausted, though. Where are the others? We need to send a raven. Get the maester. Yep. Now! Alright, so I guess we are just gonna wait this out until Daenerys gets his raven, and then she has to come through and save us, but I don't think we can wait that long. I mean, I get there's a there's an there's, there's a lake in between them, you know? I get that. Thomas. Oh, no. Bro, is he dead? Thomas. Oh, he's dead. Damn. The health pack wore off. They say it's one of the better ways to go. Damn. R.I.P. Show us the Bear. way. Come to Bear. us in our darkness and lead your servant into the light. Show us. We have to burn his body. Yes. Or he will turn into one of them. Or... Lord of Light. Come to us in our darkness. Like, I get there's a lake in between them that's preventing them from coming. And the lake will crack if all the whites try and go across. But can't they just... Can't they swim? Or what, they'll just drown? Almost all the dead that followed it fell. Yeah. It's a hive mind. There's a raven flying for Dragonstone now. Bro. Daenerys is our only chance. <sighs> it's gonna take too long. There's another. Kill uh, him. Yeah, we gotta kill How are we gonna get to Turn him? Them all. Yeah, fuck this guy, dude. Oh, wait, there's fucking... F there's five now? Okay. I guess... Oh, whatever. The Lord brought you back, and he brought me back. No one else, just us. Mm -hmm. We can do it. Do it to watch us freeze to death. Nope. Careful, Beric. You lost your priest. This is your last life. True. Bro, how are we going to get to him, though? That's the issue. It's an invitation to King's Landing. No. My lady, you are the Lady of Winterfell. I am. Yes, you can't go. You're... They want you there. I will not set foot in King's Landing while Cersei Lannister is queen. Okay, okay, thank God. Oh, she's burning, she's burning her shit now. Burning the letters now. It's not safe leaving you with Littlefinger. Yes. Many guards who would happily imprison him or behead him whether or not you're here. He's not gonna physically harm you, dude. He's just gonna, man he's gonna manipulate you. He at least leave Podrick behind to watch over you. Abandoned the trip you? to King's Landing is long, Lady Brienne, and you won't be traveling on summer roads. Wow, Sansa. Okay. Well, dude, I have a strong feeling Baelish came up with that letter. He just forged it and sent it to her. So it looks like it's from King's Landing to get Brienne out of here. Because he knew she'd send her to King's Landing, so she'd get out of here. I don't know. 
Oh, is this Raven? Oh, the Raven's already here. Okay, cool. She's already gone. Can't fly off to the most dangerous place in the world. Fuck it. Who else can? Yeah, no one else can fly the dragon's dog. She's coming through. Oh, she's gonna see all of them anyway. Okay, cool. So what would you have me do? Nothing. Uh, no. Because nothing is the hardest thing to do. Yeah. If you I die, we're all lost. Yeah. She won't die, dog. She won't die. But it's a lot of risk. You to do nothing before and I listen to you. I'm not doing nothing again. Yeah. <sighs> oh, she's bringing three dragons. She's bringing all three dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. And this is gonna pick up in the next episode, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be so hurt. Damn, I mean, oh, I guys, I forgot about the fast travel. That's why I forgot about that. So, not used to it yet. <laughs> oh wait, this episode's one hour and seventeen minutes. Holy shit! All right, now we'll definitely get Daenerys pulling up in this. <laughs> um, cunt. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, you just gave him an idea. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, see? This one has balls. Yeah, it saw the rock and saw the ice when it melt. Cause, oh no, more are coming, no! But I, if all of them go, then the ice will melt, so. I mean, I mean the ice will break. The ice will break, I meant, not met, no. I meant break. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you gotta. Damn, eat that shit hard. Oh! Fall back! To where? Fuck! Come on! To where? We're literally surrounded. This is Battle of the Bastards all over again. Bro, this is like the fourth big ass battle John has been in. He's, he's had to fall back like every time. <laughs> No, 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 He's dead, yeah. Bro, so far the only ones that have died are like random wildlings, we don't know. I wonder if they showed any of the whites that like we we recognize from like like hard home, you know, that one wild wing lady. They probably showed her at one point, I don't know. Dude, John's getting PTSD from like how many battles he's been in, dog. Where is Daenerys? <laughs> oh let's go. Take out, yes. Ooh. Bro, imagine one of the dragons turn into a, a white though. That'd be horrible. Bro, someone's gonna stay behind and die so they can get out. Oh, oh no, you're not. Oh no, you're not. Bro, have your other two dragons go kill the five white walkers on top. I got him so good. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Bro, RIP. Holy fuck. This fuck this motherfucker just took out a dragon. Oh, the, the, oh, this is personal for Daenerys now, dude. This is so personal for her. And John. Mm. Come here, come here, come here. One on one right now. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. But, oh, he has another one. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. He has another one. He, we gotta go. No, yes. No! Oh. Uh, dude, Daenerys, you have to go right now, not John. Dude, he's gonna. 
Bro. Go. Bro, zig and zag. Zig and zag. Zig and zag on this dragon so he can't hit you. Don't be like Rickon. Don't be like Rickon. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Th that close. That fucking close. No, not Jor. What the fuck happened? Bro, I'm dropping them off at the wall. Oh, I, uh, I would say to come back and get John, but like, dog, the fool just waxed the dragon, the adversaries. Like, uh, I can't risk another dragon dying. I'm sorry, I can't. Then what's gonna happen with John then, dog? Huh? Oh, he's just, his hand gonna come out. Oh, okay, he's fine. They left him. All right, cool. Yeah, he just kicked it underwater for as long as he could, you know? At least he has a sword too. At least he didn't lose that. Oh, yeah, dude. They, they can literally see that he's not dead. They're not, okay. No, the only thing I can think of is that they take him like prisoner, you know? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, who the? Oh, it's Benjin. Okay, bet. Uncle Benjin. Uncle, let's go. Uncle Benjin. Bro, John's about to be. John, John's about to be like, what the fuck? John's gonna be tripping so hard, dude. Cause last time you saw him was season one. Uncle Benjin. Yep. Oh, come with me. No. Oh, no. Just okay. He's gonna leave. Oh, sacrifice. All right. Damn. No. Oh, that's so sad, dude. That is so sad. I remember them talking about how like oh. I remember them talking about like how John wanted to go to the wall hella bad in like episode one, and then uh. He's talking to Benjamin about it. Damn. And then Benjamin went on the other side of the wall, and then we just never saw him again. Until, like, he showed up on Bran. Respect. We'll meet again, Clegane. Fucking hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope I never see you again. Just because I don't want to deal with that shit ever again. I, I'm not leaving the wall until John gets back. No, I'm not leaving until he gets back. Oh, done. she's a... Oh, yes. She's in love with him, dog. She's so worried for him. Ooh, that... Ooh, this is sick right here. Whatever that's called. They have all his wounds where he was stabbed. Daenerys can see him. Be like, oh, fuck. I think... she's Now she's like, oh, I think this, I, I think this motherfucker actually did die before. You know what I remember, too? Baelish said he got that dagger from... T he lost it to Tyrion or something like that. Yeah, Bailey said he lost that dagger to Tyrion when that dude tried to kill Brandon back in season one. <gasps> the f oh, Arya brought faces with her. Okay. Oh shit. How do you feel about John being king? Oh my god, Arya. The game of faces didn't turn out so well for the last person who asked me questions. Tell me. Dude, Arya's kind of annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. You. <sighs> Dude, you'd have to kill her to cut her face off. To be the Lady of Winterfell. Yeah, you're just jealous. <laughs> yeah, bro, she- look at that. She is in love with him. You cannot tell me otherwise. Dude, she cares about him so much. Sweet, never gone. Yeah. I could have told you it'd never have gone, like... Mm -hmm. I could have told you it could have turned out like that. If we hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen. Yeah, there, there's also that. You have to see it to know. Yep. It costed a dragon to know. The dragons are my children. We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. Yeah, it's personal now. We'll do it together. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have my word. Mm hmm. Danny. Danny, yeah, he called her Danny. Not about my queen. Mm hmm. My queen. I'd, um, mm. bend the knee, but... Yeah. I swore allegiance to you. Yeah. To you for what you are. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess John technically bent the knee. Like, he didn't physically do it, but he said he, said he would if he could right now. I hope I deserve it. Yeah, me fucking too. He should get some rest. Yeah, this got awkward. Bro, I feel so bad for Jorah. He's just gonna be the forever bestie. The f oh, they're digging. They're getting this dragon out. Oh my god. No fucking no, they're not. The Night King's about to just wake this mother. He's about to wake this bitch up. 
Dude, imagine a dragon on dragon fight. He's about to just put his hand on it. It's about to just its eyes about to just open up with blue, and then the episode's over. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that was episode six. Yep. We got episode seven in season seven, and I'm pretty sure that's the last episode in this season, which, which kind of sucks. Yep. That is the last episode. <laughs> in this season which really sucks honestly but i kind of feel like the show is becoming a little bit more predictable now to be honest like i just i could just guess that end part right there and then some of the dialogue okay not like the storyline itself like the um, not like the full storyline but just like little things like like dialogue right some of it's kind of predictable and like that thing where you touch the dragon i mean just little things like that that don't really matter honestly but all right if you think about it we pretty much just traded a dragon for one of the whites yeah we got absolutely fleeced right there that, oh my god this was not worth it at all this was not worth it at all dog watch now we're gonna bring this to cersei and she's gonna be like oh tough shit <sighs> I don't think this was worth it at all. I don't even think like trying it like was worth it. Like let's say, let's say we got out of there and like the dragon didn't die or anything like that. Like, you know, like the side wildlings still died, but like that's it or whatever. I, I still don't think it was worth it. I don't think Cersei is gonna like do anything about this. She's just using this as a way to like stall in the war that she knows she's losing. That's it. But whatever, whatever. Oh my God, I hate myself. Okay, I my camera didn't record what I just said right there, but okay. I mean, I got it on the mic, thankfully, but I didn't have it on a, on video, so okay, whatever. Dude, I swear to God, I hit record and it just like didn't record, but whatever. But Night King has a goddamn dragon now, so that that's amazing. I love that for them. I hate that for us, but I love that for them, you know? <sighs> Dude, I, I, I know, I, okay, I just know we're gonna get it eventually. We have to. We have to get a dra- a, We have to get that, uh, dragon fighting one of the other dragons or 2v1 or whatever. I don't know how we're gonna kill it, if I'm being honest. Like, we couldn't fucking hit it with the, um, the weapon brawn that Cersei had made. Bro, honestly, shout out to the Night King for that throw, dude. That was a fucking- that was an app that was a missile he threw at that dragon dude that was a missile <laughs> and he nailed it and it killed it and that was that was so sad dude uh, and yeah if you think about it this is john's like fourth big ass battle he's been in that i could think of like the first one was season four episode nine when the wildlings attacked the night's watch and then the next one was hard home and then the next one is Battle of the Bastards, and then this was the next one. This is the fourth one, and I'm pretty sure we had to fall back at all of them. Actually, no, we won the one at uh, the Night's Watch. We won that one. I mean, okay, technically, we did win Battle of the Bastards 2, but without the Veil, we would, like, we were trying to fall back. But then the Veil came through, so, like, that's, that's different. That's different. R.I.P. Thoros, dude. I really liked them. RIP my guy and then the hound brought up a really good point that like it reminded me of is he was the priest of Beric and so if Beric dies he can't come back now and I'm, I'm pretty sure they said something like a while back he only has like a certain amount of lives he can um, come back to so it's I don't know but regardless he's on his last life now because Thoros isn't there to bring him back if he dies again so and yeah Daenerys seems like it seems like Daenerys is falling for Jon hmm I mean dog it's Targaryen custom like it we knew this was gonna happen anyway. They just don't know yet. Once they find out, once they both know Jon's a Targaryen, she'll be even more attracted to him. If anything, Daenerys is gonna break the wheel on that one. See, see what I did there? See what I did there? Okay. Okay. But anyways, that was Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 6. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.